Hey guys, my name is Erica Sweeney. I'm the Broadway Green Alliance Green Captain for Harry Potter and the Cursed Child on Broadway. We hope to see you back soon, as soon as it's healthy to do so. In the meantime, I wanted to give you guys some of my favorite eco-friendly ways to make new purchases. Uh, I know we're all spending a lot of time in our homes and our nests, and um, if you're anything like me, that includes wanting to freshen it up while I'm stuck here. Uh, and that can include making new purchases, uh, some of them big, like furniture or, you know, painting walls or gardening or whatever that is for you. Um, I have a process that I go through before I purchase anything, uh, and that's made it a lot easier for my husband and I to make more eco-friendly choices about bringing things into the home. Uh, those steps are, the first step is, do I need it? Usually the answer is no. I'll get an idea like, oh, I gotta get this thing. No, I don't need it, okay? So don't use it. If you don't need it, don't get it. Um, the second step is reuse. Do I already have something that I could use in its place? Like, could I repurpose something that I was maybe gonna get rid of for this thing that I'm gonna use? The third step is upcycle. So if I don't have something that I can reuse in its place, maybe somebody else does. Can I buy something used or buy something that has been thoughtfully upcycled uh, to use in its place? Um, if I need the thing, I don't have something that I can use in its place and I can't find it used, then I try to find it sustainably sourced. So has somebody done a good job of environmentally friendly sourcing for the product? Um, and has it been created in a socially responsible way? If I can answer all of those things, then I can buy the product. Um, the last step uh, is whatever it is that you're getting rid of to make room, make sure that you're uh, disposing of it properly. It can be really tricky to do recycling, uh, especially if you're dealing with batteries or anything with a thermometer or toxic paint or whatever it is. Um, it differs between townships, cities, counties, states, countries, all of that. So check out and make yourself really comfortable with your uh, recycling and your disposal in your community. Um, please do reach out if you have any questions. Again, my name is Erica Sweeney, and I hope you all are feeling safe and healthy and peaceful. Be well.